Hello again, Alfred here from Maximum PCs Australia. Today we will be looking at the Arctic Cooling Freezer 13 CPU heatsink. This particular cooler is used extensively here at Maximum PCs and comes as a free upgrade on our high-end gaming 1 and 2 computers. The cooler itself comes in this nice compact blister pack. On the front we have the installed 92mm black and white fan. You can see just sticking out the top the four U-shaped copper heat pipes that this cooler features. On the side, Arctic Cooler says that this particular heatsink is capable of dissipating 200 watts of heat. Included in the bottom here are, is the mounting hardware for Intel 1366, 1155 and 775 sockets, as well as AMD's AM3, AM2, 939 and 754 sockets. Moving on to the back we get some performance information as tested on an overclocked i7-920. Arctic Cooling says that you will get about an 18.5 degree reduction in temperatures and a 50% reduction in noise compared to the stock Intel cooler. I will be installing this on an overclocked i5-3570K and providing you with the results later in the video. Quickly going along we get some specs about the heatsink itself. It is 130mm high. The included 92mm fan is PWM speed controlled with an RPM of 600 to 2000. The fan also has a fluid dynamic bearing for extra long life which is good even though Arctic Cooling provides an extensive 6 year warranty on their products. Finally it comes with a pre-applied Arctic MX4 thermal paste. Taking this out of the box we get an installation guide and all the mounting hardware for Intel and AMD processors. As mentioned before, this fan has 4 pin PWM. Arctic Cooling has gone with a simple design using just two screws to secure the heatsink either onto this retention bracket for Intel sockets or these two hooks for AMD sockets. There should be no problem installing this cooler even without reading the manual. You can see that the U shaped heat pipes bending down here and going in between the copper base plate and the mounting bracket. On the bottom we have the pre-applied MX4 thermal paste. Installation on the 1155 motherboard is fairly easy. First you put the four push pins into the bracket. Then install the bracket onto the motherboard. Insert the push pins through the holes in the motherboard. Ensuring they are locked on the other side. Install the heatsink on top with the two screws provided. Make sure you screw in the screws alternatively to ensure even pressure on the CPU. Also check that you don't warp the motherboard. And finally, reinstall the fan back onto the cooler and plug it into the CPU header on the motherboard. And that's it, you're done! Here are some results of using the stock cooler on our overclocked 3570K. You can see that we are running at 4.2 GHz and at stock voltages. On our second call we are maxing out at around 96 degrees. This is getting fairly close to Intel's 105 degree spec. Changing over to the Arctic 13 freezer we get tops of 75 degrees on this second call. Again running at the same clocks and voltages. This lower temperature allowed me to overclock a further 300 MHz with a little bit of voltage boost, finally achieving a overclock of 4.5 GHz, again maxing out at around 96 degrees. So that wraps up my overview on the Arctic Freezer 13 CPU cooler. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and be sure to check out MaximumPCs.com.au where we use these excellent products on our high performance desktops.